Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to hide pagination on individual projects inside a portfolio in your Squarespace website. There are two different ways that we're going to be doing this in this tutorial. One of them is specific for people using a business or commerce plan. The other one is the way you have to do it if you want to change just one project at a time or if you're using a personal subscription plan for your Squarespace website. Now, as always, the codes are listed below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how they work. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site. I'm inside a portfolio that has a bunch of projects in it. Now, this is what the portfolio itself looks like. Your layout might be a little bit different, but you'll see I've got a bunch of different projects. Clicking into a project, you can see at the very bottom of this page, we have pagination that goes to the first, the previous, or the next project in this list that we have here. Now, if you want to learn more about creating a portfolio with projects, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash portfolio, and I'll teach you all about it. For now, let's just customize this project pagination. So you can hide both links using the code name item pagination link display none. You can also hide the text and leave the arrows or hide the arrows and leave the text. All three of these can be installed the exact same way. I'm going to grab this code right here from my demo site and just copy it. And we're going to hop into this right here, this settings icon to open up the portfolio settings. In here, if I navigate to advanced, I can add page header code injection that will load with every single project. Now, why am I putting the code here? Not only will that put that on every single project inside my portfolio, it won't affect other pages on my site. So I'm going to say style because you can have multiple types of code in this section. I have to tell the browser, this is a style code. So I've got the left carrot, the word style and the right carrot. Then I'll paste the code and I'll close it with a left carrot forward slash style right carrot and then select save. After I select save, my page is going to reload and check it out. It is no longer on the bottom of the project. I can hop into project three and you'll notice down here, pagination is gone. This happened on every single project in my site. Let's hop back into project two and we'll take a look here. We can also hide the text and leave the arrows using this code. That'll hide the title wrapper, which is just the text or the container the text lives in. Then we can hide the arrow and leave the text. The arrow is called item pagination icon. Let's copy that one. We'll hop back here into our portfolio settings by clicking that gear icon. Under advanced, I'll place this code right here in between those two style brackets and select save. And as the page reloads, check it out. We have the titles, but those arrows are gone. Now let's do that with this one, hiding just the titles, not the arrow. One last time hopping in here as I want to point something out after we paste this code right here, I'd like you to notice this is a premium feature for business and commerce plans at the time of recording this. If you're on a personal plan, stick with me here. We have one other way to install this. I'll go ahead and select save and let's take a look. The page will reload and now we have the arrows for left and right, but the text is gone. So those are your three code options. Now let's say you're on a personal plan so you don't have access to this advanced setting here under your portfolio settings. We're gonna take this exact same code, including the style brackets, I'm going to press control X on my keyboard. We're just going to remove it from there. So everything will go back to the way it was. And I'm going to hop into edit mode for this specific project. Now here in edit mode, if I click a plus sign anywhere to add a block of content on my site, I'm going to add a code block. This is a workaround for anyone using a personal plan. You paste the exact same code, whichever one of these you're going for the entire link, the text, or just the arrow. Let's double click back into that code block. You paste that code there in between the style brackets, just like we did for the advanced settings here and go ahead and click out of your code block and let's scroll down. Check it out. That title is gone. Let's do uh, hide the arrow, leave the text. I'm going to copy this one, hop right back into that code block just by double clicking and I'll paste it right there. Now this used to have an apply button, but it's gone. So we'll just click outside of there and scroll down, check it out. Now we just have the titles, not the arrow. And let's go back to the first one, hiding the whole shebang. Heading back up here, I'm going to double click on that code block and paste that CSS between those style brackets. As soon as I'm done, I just click outside the code block and it'll save and it's gone. Now, this is a really interesting thing to note. I'm going to select save. It's gone from project two, but because we installed it with a code block on project two, we have to do the same thing on project three. You'll notice the pagination is still here. We'll have to do the same thing on project four as well. Scroll down here pagination is still there. 
That code block only applies when it's loaded on this page. It's a part of the page content. So if you're using a personal plan, you're gonna have to do it on every individual project. Now, why are we not installing this in site-wide CSS? Because this code name right here will apply to every portfolio on your site and every blog. It's the same code names for the exact same type of content for a blog pagination or a portfolio. So I recommend clicking this gear icon and pasting the code here in the advanced section, the page header code injection for your portfolio. Just don't forget to add the word style. We wanna make sure it's between these two style brackets. I'm gonna move this one to the other end here. Oops, I forgot the left carrot. There we go. This is zoomed in on the video, so hopefully you can see. If you're watching this on YouTube, I can't actually type a forward or a left carrot or a right carrot in a video description, so pay close attention. I have left carrot, the word style, and a right carrot, followed by the CSS code that we're using, and then left carrot, forward slash, the word style, and a right carrot to close that style bracket, okay? So I recommend doing that so it's only applied to the individual portfolio, not every portfolio or project, and not every blog post on your page will respond to that code if you put it there. And again, if you're using a personal plan, hop into edit mode and add it as a code block to an individual project using those style brackets. Isn't that interesting that it uses the exact same code name as a blog inside Squarespace? I thought that was kind of fascinating. I have a video that talks about the other differences and similarities between blogs and portfolios linked in the description below. So you can check that out if you're not quite sure which one you want to use on your website. Anywho, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.